How's it going, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Fordham Firesides. I'm your host, Hank Michaels. And today we have a very special guest. He is the mind behind the Jesuit University meme page. He's the first freshman that I've had on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Bowling. How are you doing today, Jake? Doing good, Hank. Thanks for asking. Of course, yeah. Um, I'm glad we got you on the show today. Yeah, no, it was great that I could fit it in. and uh, Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm glad you showed up, man. So your uh, page is at about 17 or 100 and a half followers, 1,700, something like that. It's mm -hmm. a meme page. It's, you've had it for maybe a little over a month. It's sort of like September 20th was your first post. I think so. Around yeah, that. yeah. And like, it's, it's insane how many followers you have. When I was a freshman, there was a meme page that I don't remember what it was called, but had like a thousand followers. And I'm pretty sure it was there for a long time. But you guys like came in here and all of a sudden you have like the most successful one that I've that's been here since I've been around. So how did like how did you start that? Like, So the page itself started around September 20th, but the idea that went into it all started with a T-shirt. I brought the t-shirt here with me today. Oh, yeah? It says, like, Jezulet. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. That's your Instagram uh, ripping, logo. Yeah, ripping a jewel. Yeah, that's um, definitely what they do. <laughs> hey, I've seen a priest smoke a cigar. It was like a sight. Um, but, yeah, so we saw the Campus Ministry Jezulet shirts on the club fair day. And I was like, well, I really don't want to go to Campus Ministry to get a shirt, but I can make this probably. Yeah. And then, like, I just started throwing things around in Photoshop, and I had this shirt. And it was like the South Lounge at like one in the morning. I'm like, I'm going to buy this shirt right now. And then I just kind of wore it that day. And everybody was like, yeah, that's a sick shirt. I totally want one of those. And I was like, I should start selling these. So I purchased uh, Jesuit.com. And then I was talking to my friend Griffin. And um, I was like, I want to make a meme page to start like selling shirts through. And then he was like, yeah, I want to make memes too. And then we just kind of came together and, and did that. And now here we are. Yeah, that's awesome. So do you do stuff with uh, graphic design? I've kind of always had a background in that. Okay. Um, through like starting a business one summer and then a lot of just like goofing around when I was in high school in Photoshop. Sure. And yeah. now like I've acquired enough skills to kind of create things, which is nice. Yeah, no, it's a good looking logo and stuff. And right. you, uh, you make a lot of those memes yourself too. Do you do those in Photoshop or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The secret to all the high quality memes is Photoshop. And um, if you see me like in ground floor, I'm probably in the back corner. They have a Photoshop app making those. Like, there's been a couple Snapchats of me, like zone into my phone. <laughs> That's all right. As long as the, the professors probably will not be watching this, even though I had a professor on a couple weeks ago. But I think that's like a rare, uh, like instance. Um, so, do a lot of people know that you run the page? You didn't try and keep it a secret at all. At first, it was a secret, and I still, I guess, I was trying to keep it a half secret. Um, if people approach me, I'd be like, yeah, that's me just because it's fun when they're like, wow, that's you. <laughs> and it, it strokes me, you go a whole lot. But um, I wanted to keep it a secret just because I like that feeling so much. And then we did like a thing for like maybe 30 minutes where it was like, meet the founders. And then it was a picture of me and Griffin. And then a couple hundred people saw it. And then that kind of created like this rumor that it's these two guys in South. And it's always funny because like now that we're a half secret, like I can still kind of participate in conversations about the page without people knowing it's me. Like yeah. I remember one time at lunch, I was like, it came up and these kids were like, yeah, I think it's these two kids in South that run the page. And I'm like, no, no, I think they're from Martyrs. <laughs> like, I heard they were, I heard they were Martyrs, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And that was just really, really fun messing with them. Well, I think uh, one thing that probably gives it away is a lot of your memes are kind of about South RAs or South security guards and stuff. So. I mean, the big secret is that every single meme on that page is about my life. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, you can almost pinpoint exactly, like, the dates that certain things happened to me and then the memes that came out the next morning. I mean, that's pretty good. I, it's, I think it's impressive, too. I mean, you've been here maybe two months, and, like, you have memes that don't just appeal to freshmen, but, like people in my class and I'm sure seniors too, like relate to them. And besides the stuff that, you know, references South or whatever, like it kind of shows that like you like know the university pretty well. And like without that or without the South memes, like you could think it was a senior that did it. I just feel really connected with Fordham. I miss it when I'm gone. I was gone last weekend and I was referring to Fordham as home and it's been like two months. My mom really didn't like that at all. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, no, I feel so connected and I just love meeting new people and this has been like a great experience to do that because people reach out and send things and there were a lot of people that reached out and they're like, you post way too many freshmen on your Jesuit thing. 
So um, now I try to find upperclassmen to post. And yeah, I think we have a good. Glad I got featured on there. Thanks yeah. for the shout out. <laughs> it wasn't just because you asked us. I mean, if I knew you, I would have posted you anyway. That's awesome. Thanks, man. So do you have a experience making memes in the past? Cause I will say like the memes you make are pretty, they're pretty clever too. So like, have you like done stuff like that before? I feel like I have, Yeah. Um, you know, I, I would make like the occasional thing, but like never for a page or anything. Okay. There was this one thing that went online. It was like a political page was looking for somebody to make memes. And I was like, that is my dream job. <laughs> Actually. One of my college essays was about memes. Really? Yeah. So I feel like I was the perfect person to run the page. Like if it had to be somebody, it would have been. Yeah, it's cool. Well, it is. It's like a fascinating like phenomenon in like new media too. Oh um, yeah. The uh, the thesis of the essay was that um, in a very rapidly evolving culture, like memes are our way of expressing certain things. Yeah, it's like a giant inside joke that the entire internet is in on. Yeah. Right? I don't know. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, I started um, when I was a freshman. I actually made a meme page, but it was for my high school that I had already mm -hmm. left. And I did it for a week, and I made like 10. And I, all, I thought they were really good, and I never told anyone it was me um, until like this year. Uh, but I stopped after like a week because one, like I can go out on top, and two, I didn't have any more ideas. Um, but yeah, it's like you guys are releasing like three a day, and I feel like at least 90% are yours, right? Yeah, so, a good portion of them now are, um, are the ones that I make in, in Photoshop. And uh, the thing is, like, as long as the meme, like, I pull templates from a lot of places online. Sure. And as long as those keep putting out, like, new new jokes, like, right now you're going to probably see, like, a Kowalski meme coming out because those are, it's like a miniature economy going on that people don't really see. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I just pull from them. And as long as the internet keeps making, like, weird stuff that I can like make jokes about, then I'll just keep rebranding the same Goose McShane and pregame jokes <laughs> until I graduate. So you're not worried about running out of, out of ideas? I'm worried about what happens when it comes to spring break or the summer and I, there's no things to make jokes about. Because we'll always have the games, like our teams are always going to suck, but we can always change the meme to one and five to one and seven. Yeah, yeah. Have um, people from the football team ever said they were like upset about the jokes? The um owen wilson owen five like that one um so somebody reached out about that joke and then we ex put out like a public statement saying and this you know this applies for like all teams like we're very satirical and um we don't want to give any team a bad image so if there's like any ever any content you can always you know ask us to not post about it yeah yeah and i mean like you're you're a page that's based around jokes so you I mean you, you like make jokes at everyone's expense as long as they're not too mean-spirited and like mm -hmm. you know people get upset but really like you're a mean page it's not like you're like writing like hard like biting articles about how much like the football team is like a disappointment to the university like my my personal belief is that like there shouldn't be any groups that can't be joked about and i totally understand absolutely yeah that like jokes nowadays have like way more significance like if i'm gonna make demeaning jokes about one team like it may attach a reputation to them so i totally understand that like you wouldn't want those jokes out there and i will respect that yeah no that's that's yeah. good that's big of you um would you say you have a favorite meme that you've made let me look through and yeah, and tell yeah. You, yeah. Ringing you know i got i can pull it up right here um I actually had a question about this one. I did, I'll, I'll put this one up on the screen, but I, I, I didn't get this one. Okay, so a lot of people have approached me about this one. And um, I almost put like the weekly temperatures on there, but we were going to have like a really cold week. Okay. So um, the joke was that Mother Nature was hitting us with like brick weather. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know? okay. And now whenever I'm like, oh, it's like cold as brick. Like people are like, oh, that's what it meant. <laughs> why, is, why is the guy covered in frosting? It was um it was a Josh Peck Miranda Cosgrove reunion. I, I don't know what happened. I just saw it online. I'm like, I can make something out of this. Yeah, yeah. N now that I get it, it makes more sense. But yeah, n now all you know too. I'm um, yeah. here. Yeah, pull out some of your favorites. Um, I really like the first one that sent us off. Me and Griffin collabed on that one, the guest and the Eddies one, and that's it was um it was a Squidward meme. I guess you can put it on. Yeah, I'll, I'll show it up on there. there. It says, on top, it says, smoking weed on Eddie's and then having a guest over at 331. <laughs> and um, personally, I hate that guest policy, so. Oh, yeah, everyone I did it. the bottom part, yeah. and then 
Griffin thought of the top part, and then that was the first meme that really nice. like sent us into virality. Yeah, yeah. And that had people talking about it. like the next day. I remember, um, because you can have insights on your thing, so it'll like tell you like how many percentage of people were following your page that saw the account. Oh, really? So for that one, we had like seventy five percent or something really high like that. So the next day, I remember like hearing people talking about the page, and I was like, this might be something. Like the joke page is actually having like involvement in the Fordham community and it's kind of become like a role, which is weird to me. But. Yeah. That's really cool. And then recently I also liked the, um, the Tinder it's a match joke because, you know, coming to Fordham, uh, I thought I was really egotistical. I was like, <laughs> I'm probably going to be like kind of smart for Fordham. And then like I get here and I realize like a bunch of kids here are way smarter than me and they could have gone to better <laughs> yeah, yeah, elite yeah. colleges, but it just came down to financials and like you could really, you really can't go by, um, acceptance rates yeah it's a good one yeah. my school invited me to speak about like young alum my high school so i'm definitely gonna sell for and be like oh really acceptance rates aren't aren't shit come to fordham yeah no that's we're great. great we're all smart where are you from originally i'm from long island oh okay what part uh the nassau county area yeah I'm yeah sure. i've probably been through there a couple times but yeah, no. yeah. are you from the area I'm, I'm originally from wisconsin but uh moved to new york city when i was in high school like oh. manhattan yeah, it's big move. Yeah, yeah, not not from Manhattan to college, but uh, from, from certainly from Wisconsin to New York. That was mm -hmm. a big culture shock. All right, so uh, Jake, do you have anything that you want to like mention or drop right now? Like any upcoming events or meme stuff that we should know about? You know, besides the um, the Kowalski thing I told you about in a little bit, what's really big that's been in the works for a couple of weeks is some collaborations between Muggsies and Goose. Uh, I've already talked to Simon extensively about it, and you know I've teased it with um, with Suits. He's he's really on board. We just haven't like worked it out as much as I have with Simon. But we're coming out with collab T-shirts. They're gonna be Goose X Jazulet and then Muggsy's X Jazulet. Nice. So uh, look out for those soon, possibly in in Muggsy's and Goose, and then in the Barnyard Barbecue for sure. How much are you gonna sell those for? You know we're going local, so they're gonna be way less expensive than they are right now. Nice. Which is good for all you drunk college kids. Nice. I look forward to buying one for myself. All right, Jake, thank you so much for coming on, man. It was a great show. I'm glad we got a look behind the scenes of the most popular page at Fordham. And I'm sure I'll be seeing you around sometime, man. Thanks for having me, Hank. Of course. See you on campus. Of course. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, et cetera, et cetera. Follow the Fordham Fireside's Instagram page so you can figure out all my guests that will be coming up in the near future. And also listen to this on iTunes and Spotify. I just got on both of those in the past week. So if you don't want to watch a video, you can just listen to it in your ears as you walk to class. But until next time, I'll see you.